Hello class, I wanted to go ahead and go over accessing Alex uh, from Halo. So if you look at your calendar for Math 144, you'll notice that you'll see these homework and review each week. These assignments are done in a program called Alex. So you need to set up an account with them and get, go there each time to work on your assignments. So let me show you how to get started with that. So the first thing you're going to do is go over to your class resources in Halo. And then you'll see this top one here that says Alex for Math 144. So you're going to go ahead and click View Resources. And when you click that, it's going to take you to Alex. If this is your first time using Alex, it'll ask you a few questions. Uh, but once you get done with that, uh, you'll get to into Alex. And the first thing you'll see is uh, sort of tutorials on how to use Alex. So I'd take some time and go through this. This is how to en enter answers, things like that. I'm going to skip it or try to skip it. It usually doesn't let me fully skip it. So, so here you can see it's just asking you to type the number 14 in there and check it. So I'm going to skip this one. And there's one about graphing. OK, so I've completed the tools tutorial, just learning how to use Alex. The next thing is your knowledge check. <clears throat> so the way Alex works with our homework assignments is you're mastering certain topics as you go through. So each week, you have a set of topics to master. Um, the initial knowledge check is going to check to see which one of those do you or which ones which ones of those do you already know and we don't need to revisit them again in the homework so you'll go through take the initial knowledge check it you'll see questions that you know how to answer questions that you don't know how to answer and that's okay it's just checking to see what you know this is not for an actual grade it's just to help set up your assignments so that they are addressing the concepts you need addressed. So it's an adaptive learning. So I'm gonna skip the tutorial um, and the knowledge check. So let's see here, um, but this is, here's the a type of question that it's going to have you do. And again, you have that option to answer it, type in the answers or push, I don't know. And it'll work your way through questions. I would probably plan about an hour. Um, and then at the end, it will give you some results. So let's skip the actual knowledge check. You won't have that option. A lot of students that come into this course uh, maybe haven't had math in a long time. Maybe this is their first math class in college. Um, so we're not expecting you to know a lot of this information that's in the class already, but we would like to know where you're at so that you can be placed with the correct uh, material. So I'm just going to put little knowledge. And so after your knowledge check, it will give you uh, an idea of what you did well on, which topics you've mastered. So that means you've already know how to do them. So they're going to be avoided and, and material that's just past those concepts will be introduced to you because you know the basis for them and you should be able to take the next step. So here you can see that you can get to your topic one homework, but let's go and look a little deeper. So if you click the three lines up here in the top left, uh, you can get back to the home page if you want. Um, let's go to assignments. So since we do our assignments in Alex and not in Halo for the homework in the review, this is a good spot to check for your grades as you work on them throughout the week because they won't instantly update to Halo. You'll have to wait till after the due date and then we as instructors will go in and we'll update the grades to Halo for you. Uh, you'll even see that they're late, those types of things in Halo until we actually update them. Okay, so just to get an idea, here is your homework one. Based on the knowledge check, uh, you already have 60% of the homework done. So you can see how it's going to give you uh, credit. And there's different topics 
in each homework. So you'll see that some of the other homeworks may have some credit already awarded as well. But for week one, you're focusing on homework one and then topic one review. Okay. Um, and then the homework is unlimited attempts. You'll work through, there's a ton of resources in here for you to use to answer the questions. And then uh, once you're done with the homework, the second thing to do is your review, which is like a quiz for the week. This will be about six questions that cover the same topics as your homework. You won't have the resources in the review, so you'll have to you know, learn the concepts as you go through the homework and then take the review. Um, you do have unlimited attempts at the review. So maybe as you're working on your homework, you take a review just to see where you're at, see what types of questions are going to be addressed and then go back to your homework, review a little more, work on them. You can bounce back and forth. Whatever your highest grade is at the end is what is kept. Okay. So get in early each week so that you're ready. Also, uh, you have, let's go down resources. So in Halo for our DQs, we will use mostly Excel documents uh, to work through. And those Excel documents can be found in the resources in Alex. So you'll see here's your DQ templates. If you click those, you'll see that this is your template for those DQs. So you're going to come here, get your document, complete it and then submit it to Halo, reply to the DQ like you normally do and just attach your document. Okay, uh, there's some resources for the major assignments. The major assignments are in week two, week four and week six. And then some video links. This is all the videos that Alex has. So that covers all the topics that you'll see. These are the same videos that will be with your homework questions as you're working on them. Um, but if you want a list of them, you can come here and get this as well. Um, the last thing I want to show you is the textbook. So your ebook is located here in Alex. So you may see uh, somewhere in Halo to try to get to the ebook. That doesn't usually work. So come here to Alex for your ebook needs. Your ebook will also be available as you work on homework. So off on the side, there'll be resources for that. Okay, so that's just a little intro to Alex and getting it set up, getting going. But again, you're going to complete your homework and review each week in Alex by the due date. And then we will update your grades, usually Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Those days are the days that we get grades updated from Alex to Halo. Uh, so don't worry if you don't see your assignment right away in Halo. Okay. Well, thank you for watching. Have a good day.